Have you been rearranging things again? I reserve the right to do so, but I haven't touched anything over there. Oh, really? Mm. Just like you didn't leave your razor out this morning. I don't recall. Oh. So they'd be my whiskers in the sink, would they? Oh, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't. I'm not going there. No. Nor upset the wife. No. Mm. Actually, on that front, I wouldn't want to be in Toadie's shoes this afternoon. Well, Sonia's obviously very invested in Walter. I think Toadie needs to be a bit more sensitive. Mm. He didn't deliberately set out to upset him. Oh, but he's nice enough. Where's the harm in having him over for lunch if it makes Sonia happy? Hmm. I suppose so. I am sorry about Walter. Uh, I, I, I didn't mean for him to leave, and I feel bad. Good, you should. Okay, well, I do, so I mean, can you, we... If you think about how much I had to put up with when your mother was here... Okay, steady on. No, 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 I am, I am serious. Angie is divorce material, even for the happiest couple, and I try so hard, Jarrett. Yeah, I know you do. You know, you couldn't even be civil for the few days to the one, the one connection that I have to my parents. Okay, well, I didn't want to have to say this. Be careful. No, no, it's not about you. It's about me. I, I meant what I said. I am worried that you're investing too much in Walter. But maybe I did overreact, because uh, maybe I am a little bit jealous. I mean, since he's turned up, it's just been the two of you, and uh, I'm not part of it. OK, yeah, I can understand what you're saying, but it is no excuse for how uncomfortable you made him feel. Yeah, I'm not trying to say that it is. I'm just doing a bit of honest self-reflection. 